Hey guys, welcome back to the U-Board sugar-free vlog number four. Today, it's morning tea time. Got some biscuits, got some drinking chocolate, all sugar-free, of course. And I thought we'd do a bit of a taste test because as we've been covering, cravings for sweetness in one's diet is a real thing. And it's a struggle, it's a daily struggle. So, been trying to source some things that can substitute, but I thought morning tea or afternoon tea, whichever you wanna look at it, is a good one to have a look at. So to start with, I've got some hot milk straight out of the microwave, full cream. I always do full cream, none of that skim stuff. So opening it straight away. Have not tried this, have not tried any of these things, so I'm speaking straight from first-hand experience. All right. So the instructions say one spoon fill, full. Now this is a stevia sweetened product. It says so right there. It's avalanche sugar-free drinking chocolate. So I do have reservations because even when I do have normal drinking chocolate or, or Milo, as the case may be, I often add sugar, especially if it's a hot one. If it's a cold one, I won't, but if it's a hot one, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit of, oh, well, I was a bit of a sugar fiend. So I am very interested to see what this is going to be like and whether it matches up at all and we'll make a substitute because that's what it's all about, really. All right, so that's the chocolate. I'll just put that a little bit in front so you can have a bit of a look see at what it looks like. Where is it? There we go. Avalanche sugar-free. So the biscuits we've got here, two types. One of them are the wafers, and they are Guillon or Guillon or Guillon. Not quite sure how to pronounce the umlaut over the O. Um, Sugar-free. Now it does say 99.5%. It does say no added sugar on this particular one. Some of them it doesn't specifically say that, which leads me to believe that they probably have it. Um, but on the back it does say, you know. 0.1 grams, which I'm pretty sure they've got to put on here whenever there's some sort of sweetness added. So that's the wafers, and for the, which, what are those called? Galettes, galettes. Are they alm almanetta galettes? Or galettes de almondras? Not sure where these are from. I should probably check that one out. Product of, oh, Canada. <laughs> wow. Right, so anyway, these ones I think are like yogurt covered or something like that, yeah. No, it does say it's not a reduced calorie food, it's just a sugar free one. So, that'll be interesting to see. Okay, so firstly, I think I'm pretty keen to try this, the hot chocolate. All right, that looks pretty mixed. I'll just take the spoon out, because it looks a bit ordinary. Hmm, okay. I'm getting an Activite kind of, have you ever tried Activite? Okay. It's a, if you haven't tried Activite before, it's a, it's an interesting, maybe. actually Activite's not the right word, Ovaltine. I'm thinking Ovaltine. Yeah, okay. So, this was whole milk, okay? The whole thing was milk. It tastes like it's been made out of water. I don't know how the good people at Avalanche Sugar Free, or Avalanche, or I'm not, I think it's Aval Avalanche, have managed to chemically turn milk into water. But success, that's exactly what they've done. Um, yeah, I don't know whether I'd be bragging about that Avalanche. It's lacking some creaminess. I'm even seeing a little bit of a very light sort of split action happening on the sides of the glass, but that's not gonna stop me. I mean, it's, for what it is, I mean, you, you've gotta lower your expectations. When you take sugar out of the picture, you've gotta just back up a little bit and think, well, it's not gonna be as good. Can it substitute? Is it acceptable? It's not satisfying. Can it substitute? Yeah, I think it can. I, I'm, still, I'm still getting that sort of 
chocolatiness about it, but um, you know, I'm, I'm assuming it's got co coca in it, has it? Uh, sugar free, with chocolate drink doesn't really say. Oh, this one's made from, this one's from New Zealand, by the way, guys. Um, ingredients, yeah, yeah, cocoa, yeah, natural, natural flavor. Stevia extract, salt, interesting. I can taste the salt, I can taste the salt. Okay, so that's, that's that. We might uh, come back to that as a bit of a dipping agent. Now let's try wafer. So these were the sugar free wafers. I mean again, oh, oh, there is an interesting texture there. Yeah, so picture you've spent the day at the beach and you've had some of these sitting on the rug, <laughs> on the on the set. Mm. It's a bit sandy. Um, I mean, it's not coarse coarse, but it's, you know, it, it does taste like Texture wise, texture wise, that is just a really, really fine grain of sand in there somehow. Um, clever, maybe? I don't, no, it's not clever at all. Taste wise, again, you know, it's in the same. It's on the same track as as the the, the coffee, uh, the coffee, the chocolate. It's yeah, it's not satisfactory. It was satis satisfying, I should say. It's you know, there is there's definitely sweetness there, which is great, but yeah, yeah. No, look, I'll, I will, in time, eat this, but um, it's not gonna be my go-to. Right, I might just wash that down with some water chocolate. Okay, these ones I'm looking forward to. When I saw the pack, which I'll show you again, Sure, Frank. All right. I'll put that there for now. I mean, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks, you know, cafe style bickies. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. So, it's got even the back. It's, it's it looks like it's got like a. I mean, it's probably it's the almond I'm guessing, but it, it almost looks pepper. But it's kind of cool. Okay. I mean, they're all right. But not overboard. So, these ones are trying to taste sweet. I don't feel that these ones are. There's sweetness there, but it's more of a, it, I, I don't know, it's, I think it's kind of what you expect. Um, whenever you've got something that kind of looks like yogurt on top, it's not yogurt on top, by the way, I don't know what it is. but. You kind of expect to be sort of dialed back a little bit, and that's what this is. It's um, sort of reminds me of the one, the the one, the episode I did in number two with Pepsi versus Coke, caffeine and sugar free, where the Coke was kind of dialed back, whereas the the Pepsi was just onslaught of artificial sweetness. Kind of a very very similar comparison between these two. Not that they can be compared; they're completely different products. But but yeah, they, look, these are okay. Um, they're not. I wouldn't choose them if I wasn't giving sugar the flick, but they're okay. They're a bit dry. Water chocolate. Oh, that disintegrated rather fast. I would not dip these, but I will. I've got a feeling Mm. Don't leave them in too long. I reckon they're going to disintegrate very, very fast. Okay. So what have we resolved? Morning tea can be done, but I'd probably do it with tea. <laughs> um, or of course, if you like black black coffee, black coffee is good to go. I'm I'm not a black coffee man. I'm. I'm I don't mind tea, I'll drink tea unsweetened, but coffee I will not touch unsweetened. And certainly, you know, I love it, I love a good hot chocolate. It's great. This is not a good hot chocolate. This is, this is something. It's, yeah, it's not fantastic, but 
Will it substitute for the time being? I, I don't know. This will probably be in my pantry for a while and remain relatively full, I would expect. I'll try and get through the next few weeks without cracking it too much. But uh, yeah, they're not bad. I'd, I'd give them a crack if you were um, getting off sugar. Um, not bad, they're good, yeah. Yeah, probably these ones are missed, don't, don't worry about the, the wafers. I actually thought that was gonna be, um, that was gonna be a winner, the wafers, but never mind. All right, that's it for today. Just a little bit of a taste test, morning tea options. Um, I think my next one tomorrow, I'm gonna be looking at some chocolate, some no sugar chocolate. Not the cheapest thing in the world, no sugar chocolate. You'd think it would be. It's lacking an ingredient, sugar. But no. Um, yeah, so I've got, um, I've got two that I'm gonna sample tomorrow. And then later in the week, I've got some energy bar products, which again, sugar free. So actually a little bit more pumped for, um, for those two shows than this one. I was a little bit shaky on the chocolate and a few things, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. See you tomorrow.